kind of game is Destiny? Even after Bungie's mind-blowing reveal trailer, many gamers were left puzzled as to what exactly Destiny is. Is it a first-person shooter? Is it an MMO? Perhaps it's a glorious hybrid of the two, something that's never been seen before. Here's Bungie's official description of the game. Destiny is Bungie's next first-person shooter. For consoles, we came out with Halo, and it certainly was the start of something really big for first-person shooters. Then, with Halo 2, we bought it online. With Halo 3, we focus on how the community interacts with each other. With Destiny, we want to take the next big step forward in first-person shooters. The way we think about that is, we're going to bring people together in really interesting ways. We're going to be able to throw in a whole bunch of adventures and a whole bunch of competitive multiplayer. And you're going to have a great time, whether you like to play by yourself or whether you play in groups, from intense to casual to solitary. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. It's all still a little vague. There's still a whole bunch of questions begging to be answered. Yes, Destiny is definitely a first-person shooter, but how exactly will cooperative gameplay and competitive multiplayer be implemented in the game? How will we travel between the planets in our solar system? Only time will tell, but we can build a better picture of Destiny's vast universe if we dig a little deeper. Variety magazine describes Destiny as mythical science fiction with time-travelling robots, magic-wielding warlocks wearing exotic capes, warrior rhinos, spider pirates and evil space zombies. Destiny essentially takes elements that work for Halo, Mass Effect, Journey, World of Warcraft and Borderlands and combines them into one game that Activision and Bungie hope will entice gamers to devote the next 10 years of their lives to playing as the release of book-like chapters introduce new stories throughout the years. Bungie's latest mail sack teases us with tantalising snippets of what we can expect from Destiny. Highlights include Bungie's senior artist David Candlan describing the Vex, Destiny's time-travelling robots, as unlike any enemy he's fought in other games. According to David, the fiction behind these enigmatic foes is fascinating and leads to one of the coolest deaths in the game. Bungie also confirmed that you won't need to partner with strangers to achieve your goals. You'll have all the freedom you need to blaze your own trail. In fact, you can just sit on the shores of time, on Venus, and watch other guardians run through, leaving behind a body count. Or you can camp out in Destiny's social areas and help other strangers get to their destination. Or maybe a slow dramatic walk on the moon is more your style. One thing Bungie did stress, however, is that Destiny is a game that's more fun to play with your friends. If Bungie's slow but steady drip feed of information is intended to excite and enthrall, it's working. Currently, Bungie has 360 employees, most of whom are working on some aspect of Destiny. They've been shaping the game since at least 2008 and are dedicated to it for the next decade. A story that lasts 10 years. Just think about that for a moment. A universe we can explore together for the next 10 years. It's genuinely mind-blowing stuff. A lot of people were frustrated and even angry about the lack of solid details in Destiny's reveal trailer. But not me. The build-up, the hype, the excitement of piecing together fragments of information with fellow Bungie enthusiasts is all part of the experience. So enjoy it, and for God's sake, be brave, you beautiful bastards.